What's up, y'all? Got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. We about to get into um, Messy Monday. Let's get it. Girl, it is so much going on, but I ain't got nothing to do with it. It's a whole lot, a whole lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a whole lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a lot of going on. It's Monday, and you know what that means. If it ain't about me, then I'm a kiki. First on the dock, and then I'ma talk shit. I'm a sugar, honey, iced tea. Do you want to sip now? Period. I said what I said. Now move along, bitch, before you get red. P.O.P., you can't stick with me. Come on, girls, let's get Hey creeps and welcome back to Messy Monday. As you already know, you can't sit with me unless you are POP and that is pretty on purpose. How you doing? Friend, you did it. This is the last day of September and you did it. From people who didn't even make it and wish Nick, did you hear about them? They could yeah. be here. Guess what? You did it. You could have given up. You could have crashed out. Whatever the case may be. Yeah, I heard about it. So give yourself a big hug because now it is time for us to conquer October. And if we did it before, we can do it again. Now, it's been a whole lot, a whole lot of going on for friends falling out to people moving back with exes to folks fighting everything. So y'all, before we get into any of that, I have to give a shout out to my friend, and that is Amir. Hey, bitch. You're the first to comment on my Twitter post. I want to say thank you so much for having my post notifications on, baby. I don't know how you do it. I don't know what type of phone you got. Must got the iPhone 16. Whatever the case may be, you were the first. So everybody, please go over there, cuss Amir out. <laughs> Tell him to sit his ass the fuck out so somebody else can get the spot. But no, go like it up, reshare, follow him, ask him how does he do it. And um, yeah, but I mean, I love you so much. You have been supporting me for so long and it means a lot to me that you are still here. I greatly, 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 greatly appreciate that, for real, for real. So um, this is unconditional love to you, all right? Thank you, friend. Hey, bitch. Well, it is time to go on again to y'all favorite part, and that is the shit, the sugar honey iced tea, because you girls love staying in some shit. First for the sugar honey iced tea, we have Will and Olivia. Now, child, they finally broke up. A lot of people thought it was Will's fault, but come to find out, it was both they fault. Now, don't get mad at me, this is what Olivia said. Going back to like when I was depressed and living in New York, and me and Will were arguing a lot, I definitely would break up with him a lot of times. I definitely would just do toxic behavior type things and like, you know, say mean things. I've told him before I don't want to marry him. I have said that before out of anger. Girl, go lay. To me, it sounds like you just trying to cover up and make this man sound good during this breakup that y'all having so people won't go attack him. Why was y'all arguing? What made you argue? What got you upset? I completely disagree. It's not always the man sometimes. Sometimes, a lot of times, the woman be having some shit going on. What made you say you didn't want to get married? Talk to us, Olivia. Because remember, the word on the curb was he was cheating on you and stuff. I've been diagnosed with like anything. When you look up symptoms of anxiety, I have anxiety. Now, she says she ain't been diagnosed with anything and that she's been having depression and things like that. But that can come. And she was always in a damn house. With, like she said, losing herself. She lost herself in this man. Because if you look at what the person right here said, they made a whole lot, a whole lot, a whole lot of sense. 111 in the chat. They said that they was watching <laughs> Will and Olivia before the pregnancy and after the pregnancy. On the internet, she was doing good. She was doing her makeup. Miss Thing was bright, bubbly, and full of energy. But then she got with Will. Olivia was always in the house. Will was outside yep. doing him and living his best life. And then came along the first baby. And that's when she had to stop everything she was doing. Everything. And that's when Will was still focusing on his rap 
He was still out in the clubs promoting him. But what was Aaliyah doing? Being a mom. Doing what she's supposed to do. And that's when she said this. Having kids was a happy time for me, but it was also a emotional time just because I didn't have the family support that like I thought I had. I grew up in like two different households. Both my parents had different spouses. And honestly, a, a majority, a lot of my growing up, I've always felt like I just was never put first as a child. Like. I felt like my parents always put their spouse and their spouse's life over me. Olivia is talking to y'all in code, but she ain't saying it how she want to say it. So mind you, she says she grew up in two different households. To me, that is her not trying to separate her kids from, okay, mama's over here, dad's over here. So she's like, let me just make this shit work. Let me stick it out, even if it ain't good. I don't want my children to go through what I went through. But then she said she don't want to feel like she was putting her spouse's life before her children. So that's why I feel she sat at home, she stopped all the stuff she was doing from her makeup to her YouTubes, and she was like, can you know what, Will? Go do your thing. Go do what you gotta do. Go make your dreams come true. I'm gonna be a mama, and I'm gonna take care of these children. That's what she did because she didn't want her children to go through what she went through. And she said, I thought I was going to have that family, but. Now. <laughs> I completely agree with this. Because everybody's question was, OK, we understand that mom and daddy can't be there. And when you went to New York or whoever and you thought family would be helping or whatever. OK. Why wasn't Will helping you? Okay. And a lot of people was having an uh, issue with that. And even me, I'm like, hmm. My thing is, though, some of these dudes is just not cut like that, bro. <laughs> They're just not cut like that, bro. And y'all know that. I feel like when you have it, these babies with these niggas, y'all know you going to be the one uh, the majority of the time watching the baby and, um, taking care of what need to be taken care of when it comes to the baby because these niggas ain't shit. <laughs> That's the best way I can put it. Girl. For a long time, I just And don't get me wrong, all men are not like that. Absolutely not. I'm just saying, a lot are, though. Shit. Really lonely. If you're not happy within yourself, if you feel lonely, like, a relationship cannot fill that void of, like, a wound that there's just certain wounds that your relationship cannot fill that void. You have to do the work. He's absolutely chasing his dreams and it seemed like she put her dreams on the back burner for sure. You have to help yourself get help. And yeah, so I think I wasn't um I was projecting a lot. So a lot of the anger that I was feeling towards like inside of myself, I was projecting like onto my relationship, maybe onto family, maybe onto friends. I was just projecting. And then right there, how are you lonely when you are with a man that you done had two kids with? You're lonely because that man ain't really there for you. I'm not trying to talk down on Will, but when she is saving this man's face, Will just wasn't ready for a relationship. And I feel Olivia got in that relationship. Like she said, growing up, she never... I don't think he wasn't ready for a relationship. I think that when they started getting that money and things started, you know what I'm saying, looking rather rich, he took advantage of those times. never really felt love so I think she was looking for that type of love in her relationship so then she put it all into Will and then when she did it into Will she was like oh my god I finally got that love and now I can have this family so then she had the baby thinking it was gonna make this family but Will had dreams and goals and things he wanted to accomplish and being a family and getting married ain't what he wanted that's why she said you cannot go to a relationship trying to find 
love to fill a void that you did not get. So she was wanting this and he was wanting that, but she did this just to see if he could get that, but he didn't want that. So now she stuck with this, still back into what she had when she was growing up. <laughs> she needs to just heal and love herself. And that's what she's finding out now. That's why I think she did that only fans, thinking it'll draw her closer to Will. Oh, this is what he wants. This is what he wants to do. Olivia lost herself. Mm. That's it. That's all. That's what happened. She lost herself in Will, trying to make this man fall in love with her, trying to get accepted from Will. And I think the cheating also made her do that. Like, okay, well, if I do this, will it make it spicy? Will it make it fun? Will it make him be attracted to me? She lost herself. I don't know. My whole motivation was gone. Like, I just felt like... Like, besides gold juice, it was like, who, who is Liv? You know what I mean? Like, what is Liv like? What does Liv want to do? Shit like that. And it's because I put myself in that box. Nobody put me in that box. I put myself in that box. And that's what I mean. She was, she had all that in the beginning. She was Liv. She was doing what Liv wanted to do. And then you- But that don't mean things don't change. Like you doing something in the beginning and then suddenly, you know, things happen in your life. And also, I, I feel like, like Honey Saw say all the time, she'd be like, damn kids. Because something changed with her body or her emotions or whatever because she's had children. She'll say like, this didn't used to happen to me and things like that. So <clears throat> maybe this came along with having children. I mean, it could be anything. Came over here. Woo! Girl, maybe this is the best thing for both of them to just separate. I know she don't want to do the separate family homes, but sometimes, all of the time, your peace and your mental is more important than trying to make anything work where it's not gonna work. All right. Well. And about me, let's keep it. Hey! Next for the sugar honey ice tea, we have Jessica and Ree. Now, these two are about to really irk my nerve because they want to <laughs> act like the word on the curb ain't bothering them, but the word on the curb is bothering them. Now, mind you, girl, you drove 40 hours home after that breakup, but you want to come back and tell us, I didn't drive up 40 hours home. I don't know where they got that from, girl, because you the one that posted it on the internet and said you drove 40 hours the fuck home. So then what made it a kiki was after they was broken up for a while, the boy done got on a plane and came to see her talking about some, I want to give her a coffee. So everybody was like, no, nah, get in that motherfucking car and drive to her. So now that he's up there at her house, rendezvousing, trying to show us that they back in love with each other. They heard that word on the curb was. And so child, they done drove 12 hours. What? They done drove 12 hours to go see his family. Then why y'all didn't get on the plane now? Because y'all heard what they're... Y'all heard what everybody was saying. So now, instead of him putting her on the plane, now he want to drive with her. Bitch, shut the fuck up. So now, he done gave this girl a whole promise ring. Man, get this nigga up out of here, bro. <laughs> like, every time I looked at him, look at him, I would think of how many hours I was on the road. Am I the only one? Promise to what? Not let her drive again? <laughs> Guess what you better be promising? <laughs> Promise ring. You know the fuck what? What you see on here is a very small percentage of our actual life. I show a lot, but what's posted on Snapchat, what's posted on TikTok is maybe 5% of our real life. I just wanted to say that um, because there's a lot of speculation about us and whatnot, um, but truly, there's very few people who actually know us. They don't really even well, know you. Which is like our parents and close family members. That's it. Parents. She just got back cool with her mama. And the woman that raised her, she cut off too. Um, what's posted online is a very small percentage. And that's a random thought. 
but I just felt like I had to mention that, so, yeah. What? Go lay. You mean the parent that told you not to be with that girl? That, that's the parent? The pa you know what? The only people that know us is our parents. Your mama was the one who just, your mama was the one who told you you didn't need to be with the girl. Told the girl to go on back home. You know what? Well, child, if they good, they good. I wish them the best. I just know that second go round gonna be a motherfucker. Okay. Don't come back and tell us shit, okay? You did this, this what you signed up for, that boy had told you over and over and over that he tried to leave you several times. Always, but you always putting us in the damn chat. So he said, let me make it work. <laughs> no, mama even told your ass get the fuck. Y'all will let these men make a fool out of y'all over and over and over again. I was a motherfucker would give me a promise ring and we, got, we ain't even in no goddamn school. You know what? <laughs> if it ain't about me, at least this time you didn't have to drive the 40. Next game. Next with the sugar honey iced tea, we have Kevin B and Sexy Red. Now, child, don't get me to lie, but I don't know what's going on. But what I do know what's going on is y'all two was dating the same man. That's what's going on. So, Kevin B had posted a picture of her and she keep, and somebody had come in it. Don't y'all get tired of chasing behind someone that's chasing behind someone else? And I said, whoo. Stop chasing them. You bet. So Kennedy came out and she said a few things, but the two that stuck out to me was when, <laughs> was when she said, if I want to post my nigga a million times, I can because that's my nigga. And I said, well, first of all, let's <laughs> pipe down you a little loud. That's y'all's <laughs> nigga. But hey, you know, if you want to call him yours, you can call him yours. He yours when he's with you and he's us when he's with her. So then this last one right here, she had said, and ain't no nigga playing with me in my face. Well, what do you call it? I mean, unless y'all have an agreement and you know what the fuck going on, so that's not playing in your face. You are allowing that to take place. But when you ended it with this is what got me. The fuck well-respected y'all bitches be going for anything. <laughs> Now, Kayla, <laughs> I want to hold your hand when I tell you this. <laughs> <laughs> we ain't the one going for anything. If you ask me, <laughs> I don't want no mess. But you the one going for anything. I'd be damned if I'm sharing the same nigga willingly and knowingly. <laughs> and I ain't trying to be messy, but she said well respected. <laughs> Baby, that respect was out the window when Sexy Red posted him up in her bed with no clothes on on his birthday. Damn! Don't fucking take me up, no nigga bro, bitches, you cool. Bitches, you slow. <laughs> Don't text me. Hey, sexy. Why you texting that girl from pick me? Baby, I ain't never been to pick me. What you talking about? I didn't text no from about her. But I didn't. All I said was Kayla be here because first off, when I'm going through the phone, I'm not checking for no. I'm checking to make sure you ain't sneak this to me, and I'm checking to make sure you ain't gay. Number one, girl. <laughs> Them the two things. So first thing I do, I'm not going to no message. I type my name at the top, and of course, if somebody's sending links of Kayla B and Chief Keep, so I click on it. I'm like, who the fuck is this? When I'm going through the messages, of course. Kayla B, Kayla B, y'all cute, y'all cute. So I said, Kayla B here, LOL. Well, that's it. Like, that, is that about a, Is that bothered? No. Baby, you bother. Knowing you bother. Is Offset Live talking about Cardi B or is he listening to music, smoking a blunt? Because we don't want to hear that. All I said was Kayla B here. <laughs> keep, every time I'm going up, it's being pictures sent. Should I post on Instagram tweets? Like, anything I post. Y'all cute. Caleb, this, this, this. So I just said. Yeah, he's live he listening here. to me. Now, I thought all oh, this was just a joke. I didn't know this was serious like this. I thought they was just joking for the cameras. Ooh, ooh, yada, yada. But to be honest, why, why is Sexy sending that stuff to that man in? 
Anyway, why is sexy sending pictures of Kayla? You know what I'm saying? The links and stuff like that. I really believe sexy is just trolling Kayla. Kayla really might be the girlfriend. But sexy is just fucking with her because she know it's bothering Kayla. But to know that she got that man on lock like that, that's why she fuck with Kayla head because Kayla probably really wants sexy gone. But Kodak like, look, if you gonna deal with me, this what you dealing with. Like sexy said, bitch, you can text me all you want, girl. I'm still gonna be here and I'm still gonna text him. That got to be a, a hurtful feeling. Kayla, you don't want better? <laughs> <laughs> this girl is nagging you the whole relationship. I be damned. I be like, look, just, just have, have them. I don't know. That's if that's what you want. It ain't have them. Share them, girl. Sexy red ain't going nowhere, and Kayla ain't either. Just learn to get along. That's what you want. That's your man. Post your man, girl. <laughs> if it ain't about me, you sharing your man with sexy next kid. Next for the chick on the ice tea, we have Asian Doll. <laughs> now, Asian Doll had the streets talking because she came onto the internet and she said, from the eighth grade to now. <laughs> and everybody was just. Everybody was just gagging because we was just like, hold on, where did King Von fit into this? But if y'all know really what she's saying is, you know, this is a childhood. <laughs> A childhood friend that she's known since the eighth grade, and now she's dating him, so she's dating her best friend. <laughs> but y'all so damn messy, y'all want to keep key. But honey, at this point, I think we're just, I think we're just all tied. <laughs> what? <laughs> at this point, I just think everybody's tired because when this don't work, she gonna scream back, she misses Bun. <laughs> But right oh now, she's Mrs. High School. So I don't, <laughs> I don't know. I am happy for her, girl, do your thing. However, the word on the curb is they saying this man married. So y'all do some digging into that and let me know in the comments. All right, it is what it is. If it ain't about me from eighth grade to now, she got a whole new F-A-C-E. Next kid. Next to Shigani Ice T, we have- Oh, yo, this whole time, I'm like, What's going on with his video? Why is this shit cut off? Girl, it's me. I'm sure. sorry, y'all. Now, everybody in the streets is gagging. 20 minutes already in. But they're gagging in a good way because she has now decided to say that she wants to turn her life around. Why does this video get age restricted? The weight that you carry as a role model. Yeah, that's pretty much why I've been like uh, undoing a lot and yeah. starting over. Pretty much. Yeah. Uh, I don't want to do worldly music no more and just do like a uh, gospel. Well, like yeah. hood gospel, I would say. Uh, what is hood gospel? I want to know what hood gospel is. Um, like, Yahweh, Yahweh, there's only one way and it's Godway. Yahweh, Yahweh, there's only one way and it's Godway. Took my baby to get blessed and they said it's for clo. I'ma do my best for me and mine. That's from here on out. And let me tell y'all this. I ain't judging. Cause God said thou shalt not judge. And I'm not gonna judge. But what I'm not gonna do is I ain't gonna. I ain't buying it until I actually see three or four months of her on this hard. Cause y'all sorry y'all. Krishan done got me through. <laughs> Not one. Okay. <laughs> Not one. But three times, Krishan done got me. I agree. I was right along with y'all. She changing. She gonna do better. Woo, woo, woo. <laughs> Boom. Got it. Then she had the baby. Ooh, she gonna change. She gonna do better. <laughs> She's talking about God then. Boom. Tattoo on her face. Back with blue. <laughs> then she said, I'm not gonna go back to him. I'm focused on me. Woo, woo, woo. He get locked up. Boom. Back with, you know the fuck what. <laughs> <laughs> Yahweh, Yahweh, there's only one way and that's God's way. She know we gon' <laughs> root for her. Like we really be rooting for Krishan <laughs> because we all see ourselves in her. Crazy, mm -hmm. living life and just really want better. 
So that's why I feel the world really like this woman like that. But girl, please don't. I just hope you're not playing in God's face. Because when this man get out, I just want you to still stay the same way that you're saying. Mm -mm. When blue face get out, all of that changes. Krishan may change. A lot of people may change. But I tell you who ain't. Blue fuss. Blue fuss. He not changing. He ain't. And I think when he's gone, it's easier for her to focus. But when he get out, I ain't gonna speak it. I'm gonna, when he get out, she gonna do good. I ain't gonna lie. After he get out, though, he gonna have to go to Vegas. So, she got some time. Child, she look like her mama up there. That is her mission, that's her mission, but the world on the curb is over here saying she had court. <laughs> and they said that, girl, y'all read between the lines, girl. I don't know, you know, sometimes when a lot of people gotta go to court and got things going on, people always scream and yell, God, 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 and they wanna be so God-fearing. And then when all that's over and things been settled, then they back to their old ways. I don't know, y'all tell me what you think. I wish her the best, and it is what it is. Cause they said they were trying to send them at the gym. Yahweh, Yahweh. <laughs> if it ain't about me, let's kick it. Let's get Next for the sugar honey iced tea, we got Black China and Tokyo Tony versus Hager. Now, babe, this is crazy. Cause I don't know how in the hell this man got beat up like that, but it is. So Hector is suing Black China for ten million dollars in damages. He is. $10 million in damages is crazy. The legend that she attacked him while he was asleep back in 2021. He said that she would do this while she was intoxicated with liquor and while she was under the influence of, you know, some substances. Now, if y'all remember, she was caught in that airport acting like this. That people that's richer, mm -hmm. and more people get rich. And the poor is gonna get fucking get poorer. Mm -hmm. What? Amen. So go get the fucking vaccine and stop being stupid, ho. Hell yeah. Nah, I knock niggas out for a living. Oh. oh. And, I'm a, and I'm a real bitch. So I don't know. I'm not saying she did it. I'm not saying she didn't do it. But what I do know is that stuff can make you crazy. So this is his picture. And people are saying, well, damn, did she even pitch the bitch? Now, I don't know because <laughs> it is possible for her to do this while this man is asleep, saying she pinned down his arms, got on top of him, and she would beat him with any and everything from her fist to the fall to the pot, whatever. And men do get abused by their women, too, because if this was the other way around, y'all wouldn't be joking like that. Let me break something down to you, Hector. Don't tell no motherfucking lies, bitch. I beat your motherfucking ass like a fuck. I said I was. I said I was coming to LA and whoop your mother ass and playing games with me and my mother daughter. So now you want to play games and say, she did that to you? This short, this little did that to you? No, I came down in and I beat your mother ass. Go tell him that. Go tell him that. Talk about some you was mother see. No, you went to mother see. After I finished your mother like Child, that. Child, please. Now try it again, and I'll do your mother. Do your mother. Say motherfucker way again. Act like you know. Now, I ain't gonna lie, if I was a parent, I would be doing the same thing for my child, too, because, baby, one thing you're not gonna do is come for my baby, and you're not gonna sue my child. I'd rather go down for my baby than my baby going down. You know what I'm saying? So. What this is causing is reasonable doubt. Like, did she do it or did China do it? You get what I'm saying? So they trying to confuse the enemy, honey. But what, <laughs> but what's the key key? And this is not funny, but y'all know I gotta be a little messy. How you get beat so bad that you... <laughs> 
You don't remember who beat you. I'm sure you were asleep, but when you woke up, you don't remember who was on top of you. But he said it was China, so it's China. The mama just don't want her baby to get in trouble. At the end of the day, doing the somebody's face in. like that is not acceptable, especially if he wasn't beating on her, okay? I don't know. If it ain't about me, let's get it, okay? Next with the sugar honey iced tea, we have King Elena versus me. Now, again? I want to say what I want to say right now, but I'm just going to hold it, okay? So, Neek had made a video, and somebody asked her a question. Would you let Kaiser go to Thailand? Would you let Kaiser visit King in Thailand? Yeah, I would. Like, I I'm, I would. I don't think that with, she lying. Um, with King, it'll be any type of um, misplacing Kaiser or anything like that. Like, I would definitely let him visit. Now, if Neek already said that she would let her son go out there and she does not feel that he would be in any danger because she knows the dad would take care of him, woo, woo, woo. but she would also feel more comfortable if she was there, then there is no reason for you to make another video commenting on that. But guess who the fuck did? Damn. Assumption. That's an assumption though, but yeah. I don't know how I am for real for real. Like, touch to touch. Like, I don't. And another thing too, King wanted Kaiser to come out here to Thailand with us. Yeah, I don't think I ever said that. I think I, I yeah, never really said that. King wanted Ka Kaiser to come out here to Thailand, but yeah. a situation, situation. A, it can't always <laughs> go that way. Like the way y'all think life is, dandelions and some. I'm not going to lie. I probably would have kept this one to myself. However, I understand how King feel like he got to say something because, you know, everybody trying to make it seem like he not a good dad or whatever. So at some point, y'all, he going to want to speak about something. You know what I'm saying? And I don't know if he out here watching Neek videos either. But had Neek already nipped it in the bud, I would have nipped it in the bud. But. Maybe he felt some type of way at the fact that Nick is technically not keeping it hot because she really do, you know, does feel some type of way that Kaiser, um, if Kaiser was out there to the point where Kaiser can't go out there. Now, do I think that that should be the mother's call? No. If we both taking care of him, which I know she has him full time, but it's for a reason. I think he should be able to get him on his time and she get him on his time, on her time. I don't understand why she's able to say, uh, yeah, nah, he can't go. I, I, I don't agree with that, but whatever. I'm forward, like, no, like, mm -hmm. it just can't always go that way. But if I were them and I were king, I would have been like, Nick already answered it. So yes, he could come out here and leave it at that. But no, they don't want to bring her big mouth ass out and say what the fuck she got to say every fucking time. <laughs> we done told you. Shut up and go lay. Will you just go lay the fuck down? It's, a, it's reasons. Everything's not little Wally and daddy and fuck. So I guess since me can come, that's probably another reason why Kaiser didn't go. This is what I feel. I think they're insecure and they're worried about what everybody thinks about them. Yeah. So to make sure that they're not bad parents, they want to always try to flip it and say, well, this is why though. Because when Neek comes out, Neek is so confident about what she says. I'm not saying Neek. But that's also because she has him and he is allowing her to make the calls versus um him either intervening and making the calls or them going to court for the calls to be made. The reason why I think they should go to court is because he should be able to get him when he won't. Well, not when he won't him. They should be able to get him half and half. I feel like half and half. He won't him. She won't him. I feel like they should get him half and half literally, but whatever. Nick is 100% innocent because maybe that is why Kaiser didn't go. Nick probably said, I would let Kaiser go, but... I would want to be out there too, but since I can't be out there too, then Kaiser can't go because I would just feel more comfortable with him there. So now that's where King is just like, yes, I want him to come, but since his mama couldn't come, that's why he didn't come. So whatever the case may be, these two just always got to make it known 
we're not the bad guy. We ain't. But he, I just he wish- did say he didn't want Kaiser to go out of the country with Neek. Neek took him anyway. That's the difference between them two. He probably felt like if he do something against what she's saying, then she going to take him away from him. For real. Lena would just shut up and let King say it. When they asked that question, I agree would on you this. let Kaiser come to Thailand? She should just be like, oh, King, I'll let you have this one. You know, and that is what it is. That is his child. Period. Because if she's not included, I, agree. I feel like ain't nobody going to talk about her. Ain't nobody going to say nothing about this woman. Check for this woman or look for this woman. The only time this woman is being mentioned is when it's about her always putting her damn two cents in some shit between King and me. Y'all don't be giving a fuck about that woman. And I think that hurt her feelings. I think she's upset because she cannot replace the shoes that Neek left there at that house. And she feeling some type of way. All right. Well. Damn. Not replace the shoes. I think Lena... I think Lena has better shoes for King than, than Neek. Um, Neek brought a lot to the table when it comes to the bag, but, you know. If it ain't about me, let's keep eating it. Okay. All right, you guys, that's all I have for the sugar honey iced tea. Let's get into this mess. First of the docket, we have Nicole and Gabrielle. Now, before we even play this clip, I just want to say, Gabrielle, girl, you was messy and you was wrong. And that's why you got your ass beat. Oh, that's probably why this got age restricted. Nope, nope, nope. Kayla was on that ass, cause if somebody said, Kayla, get Kayla, the <laughs> girl that mean you is getting slung every which way but loose. This was so stupid. I, I really wasn't that interested in this little debacle. I almost feel like it's kind of fake, too. Hey nigga, I hope so you if this girl did not call you out your name or whatever the case may be, and she was just like, if we was fucking the same nigga, I wouldn't be in this room with Tavares you. Tavares popped the balloon. Who is that? That's all she said. So what was the purpose of you calling her a bitch? Like, bitch, we ain't gonna be like what? It gives insecure, it gives jealousy, and it gives you intimidated. That's what it was. All she was all those things with Kayla because she felt Kayla was trying to press her and that's not what Kayla was doing. Kayla was just saying, if we were fucking the same man, we would not be in the same room. We lock in if I tweak out. I already tweaked out, but yeah, I'm straight. It's just, I don't play nobody insulting me. Kayla, this look better than that wig, friend. That wig was giving mop and I don't understand why these women feel as though they got to use these wigs, but girl, whatever. Like, I'm looking at shawty. She gorgeous and she genuine. So seeing her show off a blue check and he got hella excuses. I'm like, girl, I'm already knowing how that goes. So I'm just like, when you get one like this, treat them like this. You know what I'm saying? Especially when you know you're that. You're the prize. You know what I'm saying? No matter how much this, you know what I'm saying? All that. I'm like, why are you, especially when bitches just get to showing blue check DMs and everybody like, ooh, ooh. Then I see who Boss Charity, I feel like we too old to get the point. Like, this whole little debacle with them basically was um, Kayla and old girl m- potentially maybe doing it to the same dude. And the dude <laughs> might might have been, might not have been, allegedly, Kai. Um, and then 
the other girl tried to check Kayla for it. And Kayla was basically saying if, you know, if, if, if that's, if that were the case, we wouldn't be here together. And girl, it just went from there, but I couldn't keep up. It is. You doing the whole thing? No, I'm just telling them. I ain't saying no names. Oh. But I'm just saying you like. A brief explanation. Yeah, when I see who it is, I'm like, oh. Then I'm like, looking at this. I'm just calling Cat for what it is. So it was over by the end. Like, I, I, it was just like, all right, girl, we just kidding. Because it was never at her, like, on some, like, oh, you not. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about, oh, this. You know what I'm saying? I disrespectful when she called me the B word. And then when she was like, um, what's it? You, you, you effing my man or whatever. I'm like, girl, we was effing the same boy. We wouldn't be in the same room. You know what I'm saying? And she like, friend, send me the link. We in the same room now. And I'm like, exactly. So if we was fucking the same boy. We wouldn't be in the same room. Like I just said, we just, we just joking. Chop, I don't know what chop means. So I'm like, shawty. Bro, one, two, three, four, five. I can't. Yeah, then the Shay snitched on it. Uh. I know when you on live, things get said, you can't edit it or nothing like that because people are going to catch it. When he gave it away, when he got gagged, when she said, Kai, he wasn't expecting that. And then you gave it away some more when you said, child, mute it, right? <laughs> and then you gave it away a third time when you try to double back and say, who kind of football player? You would have said that at the beginning when she said the name the first time. You'd been like, wait, Kasa not a kind of football player. And let her have said who. But she wanted to make sure you didn't fuck no shit. Friend, we already reacted to that one. That's what the T was. So, child, now we know who Miss uh, Gabby or whatever, who she DM and talking to. Lord, if it ain't about me. Let's kick in this game. Our family defeat. Next one, Jacket, we have Chris Sales versus Dub and DDG. Now, y'all, <laughs> I'm not even going to say too much because at this point, Chris just be Chris talking. Just be Chrisin'. And you just got to let Chris Chris because I don't even know what to say at this point. I heard Dub don't know how to treat a woman. He got with a girl that was down for him. You feel me? And now he dating this girl, whatever the case may be. They just came to my attention. And let me tell you, who, if you watch it, this dub, baby mama, let me. You feel me? Like, I'll take care of you, baby. I'll take care of you and we'll walk. You feel me? So just let me know. Give me the word. DM me. Uh, But you don't need him. You don't need no man with fake hairlines. You just don't. You don't need that. You don't need that in your life. You feel me? So just let me know what you want, baby girl. Um, yeah, I can't yeah, even take him know, there. Baby. Mm. I don't feel like... I, do I got to teach how to treat a woman? Like, do I got to teach how to treat a woman? Duh. Mm -mm. Make money and switch up on that first. Make a little money and switch up on the girl that, that was down for you. So then after Chris... That's what Chris did to Queen, ain't it? <laughs> said that I'm just like Chris boy shut the hell up Dude, are you listening to yourself you didn't even know how to treat Queen what are you talking about Chris so then Doug come out and then this is what Doug say as you know watching and I know is watching is I hate this man and I hope he's having the worst birthday and I know he hoping I have the worst whatever right so you know this right and the real reason why I am beefing and don't like and when I see <laughs> and when I see him we, we got to do something. It's because this man went on the internet and said, I would never in my life touch your fat. Brittany came out and was like, y'all quit bringing him up. Uh, and that's it. <laughs> BM. He disrespected my baby mama on the internet when me and her was going through things and I had to get him. Right? So I'm thinking like, it's no way that a person like this that talks about women and talked about my uh, mother of my child, it's no way I could be cool with him. But we look at the comments and then we see somebody commenting that I show so much loyalty to, show most respect to. Number eight, it's kind of crazy how I don't know how to treat a woman, but for your birthday, I flew your mom, your sister, 
and your auntie that I didn't even know to come celebrate your birthday. And this is Facebook. Facebook is like a, just like that, where you speak your mind. This is what I said on Facebook. Happy birthday to the mother of my child. Thank you for all the unconditional love and support you show our child for 2001 Range Rover. Enjoy that. Now there's one thing that I know how to do and that is treat a woman. But once things go bad, I am not supposed to act like nothing's wrong. But to the internet, Brittany, I act like everything is okay. Now to be honest, Dub should not have even responded because Brittany really didn't say nothing wrong. All she said was laugh my ass off, I'm crying. But I see how he took it the wrong way because what they say, a hit dog will holla. So obviously somewhere he feel like he did not treat that woman right. And as you can see in the comments, the people were just like, both of y'all need to shut up because neither one of y'all know how to treat a woman. So hey, it is what it is. And then to play devil's advocate to be on Dub's side, if somebody is talking about my ex-wife, you know, my baby mama, and then you laughing and all this bullshit, and then you go in the Yeah, his older sister don't like his baby mama. And you sit there and entertain it. Even if you didn't say nothing wrong or whatever, you entertained it. You should have just let that man say what he said. It's going to rub me the wrong way, and it is disrespectful. One, Chris did what he did, and then you entertaining it. I'm going to say some shit, too. I don't think Doug was mad. I think he was just hurt. Because he know it's bigger than the gifts, Doug. You get what I'm saying? And if we going to be messy, wasn't his sister talking about his baby mama? But you didn't check your sister. I mean, I understand that's family, but you still should have checked her. I don't know. To me, it's giving you been wanting to make a video about Britney. That's the tea. So then Chris didn't even stop there. He goes over to the brother. And this is what Chris said. Story time. Yo, sorry y'all can't see me because I am in the tub relaxing right now. It's official. It's, it's, it's 2 o'clock in the morning. But when are y'all going to stop listening to rappers who's not about that life for real? Like, why does every rapper want to be hood and gangster, talk about guns and this and that? Like, DDG, like, he are not like that. Like, when are y'all going to stop? I know this, I know some of y'all, this y'all, y'all fans of DDG, this and that. Like, I, I, I understand. I'm not going to hit on no black man that's getting their coins. But when are we going to stop this violence and music and talking about guns and this and that like when are we gonna stop doing that like we have to stop doing that look look around this nigga chris like there's so much negative shit going on there's so much killings with black people like ddg is not like that i don't care who d disagree with me i'm uh, people don't like the truth like he's not like that and y'all support his music which is cool which is cool but like don't let him Make y'all believe that he's like that. Now, Chris, I'm not. I ain't trying to be messy, but you sat on this motherfucking internet and you talked about me and Corey. But this is your <laughs> second time sitting in some bubble water, <laughs> thinking about another nigga. Who the gay one? <laughs> I'm just trying to be real about the situation. This your second time. You in the tub. Bubbled up, kicking your feet, splash. You don't give a fuck. Both probably popping in your booty hole, and you thinking about DDG. Get it together, Chris. It's six hundred and thirty people on here. If six, if all six of y'all go tell DDG, spam his Instagram right now, and say box Chris sells on his last post. If everybody right now on my show say box Chris sells, I guarantee you he's still not gonna do it. What well, DDG got to do with this? Because he, he reacted to one of my... uh. Chris, this is not 2000 and what? 17, 16, 17, 18, whatever, whatever years I ever like gave you any reactions, bro. Like, for me to box you, they would have to pay me a minimum of a million dollars. DDG can definitely box. Um... Chris can box too. I don't know if he can outbox uh, DDG, but he can box. And you only get fifty thousand. Like it's like night and day with me and you, bro. Like I'm a, I'm I'm actually a humble dude. I ain't gonna lie. Like I'm a humble dude, but like, bro, you're not on my level of anything. And maybe Chris thought the only way to get DDG's attention is, is if he's dating the mermaid. <laughs> 
he needs to he needs to act like one. <laughs> what? Oh my God! Maybe that's why he been in the water. Maybe that's why he been in the water every time he responds to the I swear. The <laughs> I was thinking the same shit the other day. Chris so stuck and like, and I'm older than wait. Chris twenty eight. I'm thirty five. Believe it or not, it's not that far apart. However, he's so like two thousand and five. <laughs> He's so like not Holly, here with us. He, he tell him oh, he's put 30. a gun in his female oh, right. purse. Holly well, wouldn't yet. dare put his gun in her purse for anything. Holly is a mermaid. <laughs> Holly is a mermaid. Holly don't even know what a gun is. Call me back. <laughs> Chris, Chris, I can't stand you. That is such a weird way to let us know that you listen to this man's music. Hallie is a mermaid. She wouldn't even put a gun in her purse. <laughs> <laughs> this man is dumb. And DDG, I know you said you wouldn't fight him because you're here and he's here and they would have to pay you hella money because that would, like you say, revive the fame that Chris had. I get it. I don't Everybody's think so. Everybody's sitting here saying Chris is corny and Chris is this and... I don't think that will revive shit. Chris ain't about that, but this man done called out two niggas, brothers at that. Duh. He done called out DDG. Why does everybody always turn the fade down with Chris? Is Chris really about that life? And y'all know that and y'all scared? Because if you get beat up by Chris, oh. So now I'm with him when he right on that one. I feel like... If Chris fuck around and win, oh, it's going to be a problem. Okay. But also, I just don't think anybody want their name attached to Chris. Like, that nigga's like a gnat. For real. Oh, hey. And nobody won't fight this man. Well, all right. If it ain't about me. Also, Kiki. he's not in their bracket. Or at least they feel like he's not in their bracket. Uh, Chris very well could be getting some money, but like DDG said, I don't even know how you getting your money today. Like he don't even know, you know what I'm saying? How he get money? So hey, next one, Doc. We have Ramonte versus Dave. Now, when all this took place, it was Who? just next one, Doc. We have Ramonte versus Dave. Now, who was Ramonte and who was Davey? When all this took place, it was just too much going on. When the hell did Twitter allow y'all to write novels, <laughs> obituaries? screenplays and all that because baby once it get past 120 words i ain't reading no more i i catch it when i catch it i'm not gonna say it because i'm not gonna read all them tweets i'm gonna let somebody i saw on tiktok who said it and and it captivated me i'm gonna let them tell y'all the story no shay i don't usually cover other content creators bullshit i honestly don't have no dog in this fight i love ray monte down to the floor no shay oh ray monte uh, i like david too the other girls are nice but I really like Ray Monte. But bitch, when I tell you, Davey took his motherfucking seatbelt off and sat up in his seat, bitch. The other TikTok girls want to give you parts and parts. We're going to do everything real fast. So Davey retweeted this and said, oh, but why not? Da, 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 never mind. So if you don't know, you have to go back. It was supposed to be some type of shade about the other girls having veneers or something like that. I don't fucking know. But bitch, hold on. This shit get too juicy. So that's when Malik retweets Davey thing and say whether or not you made that tweet to be shady, you saw how it was perceived and left it up. You're addressing everything except for the actual problem. Why don't you tell the class the real reason why you and Ray Monte aren't friends anymore? Because you sat on the phone and talked about him and he found out when he did nothing to you. Hmm. And instead of you taking accountability and apologizing for a for being a bad friend you do stuff like this after talking shit about him you're continuing to antagonize him with hopes he'll respond to you so you continue to be the victim clock it you know that if ray monte were to respond to you it would make him look like an aggressor so i'm saying something i'm not allowing you to throw rocks and hide your hand your hands anymore listen you can choose to do whatever you want with the platform ray monte gate Ooh. oh you could <laughs> wait, girl hold on hold up Listen, you can do whatever you want with the with the platform Ray Monte gave you, but there's a reason why your career is stagnant. and God isn't going to bless someone with malicious intentions. At the end of the day, most of your supporters wouldn't know who you are if it weren't for the person you snake. The last mm, the last you could do is let him live his life without using his name for engagement. Wish you the best. Let's go. Let's see what's next.
where Davey took his motherfucking seatbelt off it. Because, bitch, I was gagging. Like, when I read this shit, I was gagging. Davey said, this is what happened when people don't mind their business. Loud and wrong. I saw how it was perceived and lifted up because if I deleted it, it would look even more guilty. We're not friends anymore because he was told I was sitting on the phone talking about him in context that we were not true friends. And the person that told him that had intentions on purposely having us fall out and later debunked and apologized for it all to me. You don't know what was done done or not done to me because best believe shit has been done and nobody was innocent in our friendship trust to this day i was never given a one-on-one -on -one conversation to talk about anything with him <clears throat> when the fuck have i ever antagonized him i've literally never spoke on the situation or him the fuck at all after he insisted on bringing it to the net there would be nothing for him to respond to and look like an aggressor because hold on let me move myself up I've never said anything about him. Throwing rocks and hiding hands is for people who are scared of the person they're throwing. Ooh, throwing rocks at, which doesn't apply to me. See, I'm telling you how he took his seat, but I'm gagging. <laughs> if I got something to say, I'll plug it up to the loudspeaker. Y'all confused. Me too. And don't have the power to I allow. I thought y'all knew something. Nobody don't have the power to allow me to do anything. I'll never deny people choosing to fuck with me because of my proximity to him. But to say anybody gave me the platform that I, bitch, Davey is a key, that I built by propping my camera up and sharing my life experience is 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 a experience on is a reach my career is only i can't see the rest y'all y'all motherfuckers can read it from right there i can't see it my damn recorded thing got it but we gonna go to the next part a bitch ray monte entered the chat y'all know y'all gotta film the face so i was getting said, to no the shade. i can't get on here and be shaded about something that really affected my affected me mentally i love this boy i thought he was my dog he brought up me be, oh, see, I ain't even read all of this. He brought up me being raped in an argument he was having with another friend, telling my business in front of her cousin, who I have no relationship with, and got on the internet and played it into a narrative that I was the problem. Now, you don't care about this, me either. I don't know what's going on. Monte, I think that him and Ray Monte need to have a conversation. But now, Ramonte then goes on the space on Twitter and he tells why he feels the way he feels about everything. And this is what Ramonte said. On a lot of dates or whatever, and he would try to have sex, but I wouldn't want to have sex with him because it's like, I don't know you like that. When I first moved to Houston, I was trying to do that, be that cute, like, abstinent girl because I didn't want everybody to, like, say they had me or whatever. So I was, like, really strict, like, no sex. And one time I got really, really drunk and we ended up having sex. And I woke up at like five o'clock in the morning. And I'm like, hey, bro, like that wasn't cool. I wasn't trying to have sex with you. Like you thought, no, man, yes, I was drunk. Like you kind of like, that wasn't cool, bro. I really don't fuck with that. And I called Davey, I called Myron, I called Ranisha, I called Ting. Like I called all my friends on group FaceTime. I sent them a text. Like I was very, very emotional about it. And I was like, it, it kind of like traumatized me type shit or whatever. But I'm not a bitch that like, I don't need nobody to know my business. Eleven, eleven. To you, sir, I'ma believe you, and I'ma take your word for it. Now I'm with Ramonte. If you are joking about a sexual assault situation that happened to me, I can't be your friend because I don't care if I was drunk or whatever the case may be. You're my friend. Ride with me. If I say this person did this to me, they did it to me. Because I, it's already a touchy subject. Because if you tell me somebody did that to you, I'm going to ride with you. You know what I'm saying? Whatever the case may be, even if you might have been drunk and you wanted it at the time, but then when you wake up and you realize that's not what I should have done, you have the right to feel like that because when you're intoxicated, no one should take advantage of you regardless. Sure. Even if you said yes or no because you're not in your right mind. That Myron person is sneaky. They really sneaky because why are you and um, David over here talking about Ramonte anyway? I think um, Myron is the one that really don't like Ramonte. Let's be real. I think it's some type of something there. Because if y'all are real friends, why y'all on the line discussing another friend anyway in a negative manner? That just don't make sense to me. Especially talking about a traumatic situation, but y'all, I'm lost. I'm just lost as y'all. But anyway. I'ma say it because y'all scary and I'm not scary because I can't get no whooping. Here's the root of the problem with Raymonte, Davey, and Myron. Myron is what you consider to be a corn snake. Come off as very delicate and gentle and obedient, but will bite the shit out you.
Myra is the one who actually doesn't like Ray Monte and wants to see Ray Monte career in shambles. But because Davy also feels some type of way about Ray Monte, Davy's feelings are overpowering the actual issue. My brother, since we were 12 years old, should have never been in no situation where he's able to call somebody and have me on the phone listening in to what that person got to say about me. You know why? Because Myron was supposed to check whatever it was Davey had going on right then and there. Myron couldn't check Davey because he initiated the shit that Davey started talking. Outside of the intercourse, Myron somewhere down the line made it very clear to Davey that he don't like Ray Monte. It is messy for him to call Ray Monte and say, Davey don't like you, just for Ray Monte. Oh, we still one, two, three, four, five, and got it. Okay. We already reacted to Cardi B. All right, we done. Don't threaten me with a good time. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. I'm done with this video. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hell yeah.